Mitch, let's begin with the latest developments in the North Carolina voter ID case. You'll remember that 2 million voters, 55% of the total, went to the polls in 2018 and decided that North Carolina should have voter ID embedded in the state constitution. Shortly afterward, the General Assembly passed a law to make that happen. But three years later, we still don't have voter ID. And that's because both the law and the constitutional amendment have faced legal challenges at both the state and the federal level. The U.S. Supreme Court has now decided to get in on the action. But the U.S. Supreme Court is not going to decide yes or no about voter ID in North Carolina. The actual issue for the Supreme Court is whether legislative leaders are going to be able to intervene in the federal lawsuit. The reason they want to do that is these legislative leaders don't believe that Attorney General Josh Stein is putting forward an adequate defense of the voter ID law. Stein has countered that he's putting forward a, a, an adequate, a good defense, but uh, the legislative leaders don't believe it. They've gone to the Supreme Court to ask whether they can intervene. The Supreme Court will decide this. Apparently, there will be arguments sometime early in the new year, probably a decision by June. This has some uh, implications for voter ID because before the Supreme Court decided to take the case, there was supposed to be a federal trial on this issue in early 2022. And even if the Supreme Court says that the legislators can intervene and we have the federal trial, this does nothing to uh, counteract a state court ruling against voter ID. Plus, there's also the case involving the constitutional amendment, which has generated a controversy in our state Supreme Court. So there's still a lot of action to be determined before anyone has to use voter ID.